developing true, deep and vast compassion. Guided Meditation, Level 1. Hi, this is Ajahn Achalo, and this is the guided meditation upon the theme of developing compassion. Please do listen to the two-part introductory talk before doing the meditation, as this will help prime your mind for the theme and the task. If you have listened and are returning, welcome back. We need to have generated a sincere interest and a strong feeling of resolve in order to be able to do this meditation effectively. The words and phrases repeated during the practice will have more meaning if we've done some preparation and developed a noble aspiration. The meditation begins with a body sweeping practice followed by establishing the awareness upon the feeling of the breathing. I am aware that many people would like to just dive into the reflective and heart-based section of the meditation more quickly. But please understand that the preliminaries are here for a good reason. The restlessness and impatience that you might feel in the preliminary section of the meditation are precisely the kind of energies that we need to settle a little in order to do the compassion meditation properly. So try to give yourself fully to the task of establishing the mindfulness in the body in the moment, then upon the breath, and then in generating some loving kindness as a basis. This will take the first 15 minutes or so. At the time of composing this meditation, I have been a monk for more than 20 years, and I personally meditate for at least 4 hours per day, much more when I can. I say this not to show off or to intimidate, but rather to back up the point here, that I am not presenting this material as a type of spiritual sensuality or refined entertainment. This is the real deal. Meditation is a huge part of my life, and I am sharing this in order to support sincere people to facilitate some very real change and development. We simply must be willing to invest good time and energy if we want real and lasting results. Although deep meditation upon the theme of compassion can be very pleasant, at other times it is challenging. So settling, gathering and collecting the mind in order to focus in this delicate heart area is truly supportive to the process. In a way, this meditation is more like open heart surgery than anything else, so we need to take some proper care and time. So bringing your attention to the sitting posture. Aware that you are sitting. Knowing the felt experience, feeling the feeling of your bottom pressing against the mat or the chair or the cushion. Sitting with an erect posture, not too tense, not too loose, wakeful. Taking a few deep breaths, breathing in deeply a few times, filling the lungs. Breathing in, bringing fresh energy into the present moment. Breathing out, putting the past down, dropping any tension. Bringing your awareness now to the top of the head. Simply aware of any feelings on the surface of the skin. Moving the awareness down the forehead and face, relaxing any tension. Feeling the sides of the head, the ears, then the back of the head. Aware of any feelings or sensations at the back of the neck. Then the front of the neck.
now aware of the shoulder area, relaxing any tension. Sweeping your mindful awareness down the area of the back, the upper part of the back, over the shoulder blades, the middle part of the back, and the lower back, over the buttocks, and once again feeling the weight of the body pressing on the mat, becoming grounded, aware, awake, yet relaxed. Bringing the awareness back up to the shoulder area, Now moving the awareness down your right arm, the upper arm, and over the elbow, then down the lower arm, the wrist area, the palm of the right hand. Including the fingers from the base to the tips, and finally feeling the feelings of the back of the hand resting in the other hand or on your lap. Simply aware. Once again, bringing the awareness back up to the shoulder area. Now moving the awareness down your left arm, the upper arm, and over the elbow, then down the lower arm, the wrist area, the palm of the left hand. including the fingers from the base to the tips and finally feeling the feelings of the back of the left hand resting in the other hand or on your lap. Simply aware. Bringing the awareness back up to the shoulder area Moving your awareness down over the chest, aware of any sensations. Then down over the stomach area. No judgments, simply aware of the feelings. And now down over the abdomen the lower abdomen, the groin area, and once again feeling the body pressing against the floor or the mat or the chair. Now moving the awareness slowly down your right leg, sweeping awareness over the top and lower parts of the thigh. The knee area, front and back. Now sweeping the awareness down the lower leg, the shin, then over the calf muscle area, 
aware of the ankle, bringing the awareness over the top of the foot. Then include the toes. Then finally, simply being aware of any feelings in the area of the sole of the right foot. And once again bringing the awareness back to the buttocks area, just feeling the body sitting. Now moving the awareness slowly down your left leg. Sweeping awareness over the top and lower parts of the thigh. The knee area, front and back. Now sweeping the awareness down the lower leg, the shin, then over the calf muscle area, aware of the ankle, sweeping the awareness over the top of the foot. then including the toes. And finally, simply being aware of any feelings in the area of the sole of the left foot. Now, gently bringing your awareness to the tip of your nose. Setting the intention to be aware of the feelings involved within and out breathing. Knowing the entire in-breath as it comes in through the nose, down through the chest and into the abdomen. Then the entire out-breath, abdomen, chest, nose. If it is helpful, you can use a mental recitation in conjunction while aware of the feelings. Breathing in, but, breathing out, do. But do, the Buddha, mindful, aware, awake, mindfully knowing the feelings of the in and out breath. The entire in breath and the entire out breath. Practice this breath meditation for the next couple of minutes, simply being mindful of the feelings involved in in and out breathing. Breathing in, but, aware, breathing out, do, mindfully aware.
before moving on to the compassion section of this meditation where we become more aware of the suffering aspect of conditioned experience. It is important to establish the heart of loving kindness, a quality of goodwill, of unconditional love. So while still aware of the breath, we will now generate powerful goodwill in the area of the heart. And breathing in, making the sincere wish, may I be well. And breathing out, wishing, may I be happy. allowing a warm feeling of loving acceptance to fill the heart area. Generating kind wishes and deep goodwill. And breathing in, making the sincere wish, may I be well. Breathing out, wishing, may I be happy. If it is useful, you can also visualize metta as golden light, filling the heart area while you generate and radiate. A quality of unconditional love, and acceptance, which also wishes the very best. Breathing in, making the sincere wish, may I be well, the warmth of metta, the golden light of metta, filling the heart. Breathing out, wishing, may I be happy, the golden light spreading filling the chest area. The warmth of loving kindness, metta, filling your heart area, the upper chest and your upper body. Compassion for oneself. Having generated some mindful clarity and goodwill in the heart, we will now continue on to our main theme. We are going to be mentally reciting a few simple phrases in conjunction with the in and out breath. May I be free from suffering on the in-breath and may I be well on the out-breath. While still being aware of the breath for the next minute or so, I'd like to encourage you in doing a little inner reflection before we pick up these phrases. It is important to acknowledge the very common human experience of suffering before wishing ourselves to be free from it. It is also important to recognize deeply that we can ultimately be free from it. To empower this deep wish with the power of truth. 
So just asking yourself sincerely now, without any judging at all, just making an honest inquiry. Do I currently have any suffering in my life? We have to be careful here not to fall into any particular details or the storyline. We are simply trying to connect with the truth of conditioned experience. So the question we ask ourselves now is, and what is this suffering like? How does it feel? So what I am now asking of you here is to make the sincerest wish from the deepest reservoir of the heart that you can access. May I be free from suffering. Not thinking about the details, restrain falling into sorrow remembering that at this stage we don't actually need to fix anything. Simply aware of the fact of pain. Frustration and challenges. And then wholeheartedly making the wish May I be free from suffering. Now picking up the mental recitation and sincerely meaning this as you gently mentally recite on the in-breath, may I be free from suffering. And on the out-breath, may I be well. Oftentimes, we try to avoid these feelings or push away the felt experience. But many people find that through becoming more aware of these feelings, this shared human experience, and opening the heart with this cool, compassionate wish, that a new sense of courage and space can open up in the mind. While we understand that we might not be able to resolve all of the challenges which we face at present, on another level we are affirming a deeper potential Freedom from all suffering is definitely possible. It is our deeper potential. Also, responding to pain with this kindest of wishes can feel very supportive. The pain can be seen, known, and cared for. And so while holding this awareness of suffering with true care and with patience, not contending, 
we are also gently affirming a deeper nature. and determining to let go of the causes of suffering once we can. So again, being aware of the fact of suffering and how this human experience feels and then sincerely wishing for freedom. Breathing in May I be free from suffering. Breathing out, may I be well. Embracing the experience with coolness and with deep kindness. Aware of this human predicament without any judgment. The heart melts and bathes this pain with loving care. and the encouraging affirmation of true potential. May I be free from suffering. May I be well. Continue with this for about a minute or so. Metta. It can be useful after practicing compassion to return to some loving kindness practice for a couple of minutes. Re establishing the warmth of goodwill, unconditional love. and holding this in the heart and chest area before continuing on. And so simply wishing on the in-breath, may I be well. And on the out-breath, may I be happy. allowing the warmth of loving acceptance of pure goodwill of unconditional love to fill your heart wishing on the in-breath may I be well and on the out-breath May I be happy. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy.
having generated compassion for oneself and then re-established loving kindness in the heart we are now going to include another person a friend or relative or teacher someone for whom it is easy to feel a kind regard for choose just one person from this category now and visualize them before you for a moment with the simple recognition and acknowledgement that this dear person like you has challenges and frustrations in life we may know some of the details yet of much of the struggle we will be unaware suffice to say we wish them well from the bottom of our hearts recollecting Lord Buddha's example in his final birth after his morning meditation each day he would scan the world for beings that he could help his heart quivering with compassion so we also sincerely wish that both ourself and this other dear person may have less and less suffering meet with influences that may be truly helpful empowering along the path to complete freedom breathing in may I be free from suffering breathing out may this other dear person be free from suffering the cool love of the sincere altruistic wish radiating inwards on the in-breath like a healing balm and radiating outwards on the outbreath sending waves of coolness pacifying the fires of suffering of this dear person And breathing in may I be free from suffering breathing out may this dear person also be completely free from suffering may I meet with every helpful and healing influence and receive every support to grow in freedom and wishing the same as sincerely as possible for this other being as well breathing in may I be free from suffering breathing out may this other dear person be free from suffering if it is helpful you can visualize light 
in conjunction with the mental recitation. Whichever colour suggests compassion to you. Perhaps a deep cool blue, or as you prefer. Radiating compassion inwardly on the in-breath and outwards on the out-breath. Just continuing with this for a minute or so. Once again, after practicing compassion, it can be useful to return to some loving-kindness practice for a couple of minutes, re-establishing the warmth of goodwill, unconditional love, and holding this in the heart and chest area before continuing on. Simply wishing on the in-breath, may I be well. And on the out-breath, may I be happy. Allowing the warmth of loving acceptance, of pure goodwill, of unconditional love, to fill your heart. Wishing on the in-breath, may I be well, and on the out-breath, may I be happy. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy. Resting in the heart of loving kindness, metta. including another, the neutral person. Expanding our awareness of the noble truth of suffering and our compassionate response to this to include another fellow human being now. Simply acknowledging that just like ourselves, others are affected by difficult experiences. From the very beginning of our lives, birth is often painful for the mother and child. Sickness visits all of us at times, sometimes mild, sometimes very serious. There is separation from the loved. 
and having to associate with that which is not loved. The pain of unexpected and even expected changes. The challenges of aging. These are experiences that we all share. So bringing to mind now someone who you know, not a close friend, but someone who you see with some frequency. Someone for whom you feel somewhat neutral about. Without needing to know all of the details of this person's challenges in life, but simply because we know that surely there are some. We will now offer this person the cool, caring wish that their suffering may be lessened somehow. Still aware of the breathing, bring to mind the image of this person's face. On the in-breath you keep generating the cool, loving balm of the energy of compassion inwardly and on the out-breath you radiate it outwards towards this other person. And breathing in, may I be free from suffering. And breathing out, may this other person be free from suffering. Contained in these few potent words can be many other beautiful wishes. And these are the kinds of things we are wishing for when we mentally recite these words. Whatever difficulty this person has, may they meet supportive people and circumstances which help them through the challenges. May they have the financial resources to get by just fine. May medicines or surgery be entirely successful. And even more importantly, whatever their experience is, may they maintain well-being and hope. May they have a spiritual refuge for deep inner solace. May they maintain a good heart and have a strong mind. May they meet with the teachings and practices that can liberate them from all suffering. May they grow in Dhamma and realize the deepest liberating truth. Wishing similarly for yourself on the in-breath and for this neutral person on the out-breath. Breathing in, may I be free from suffering. Breathing out, may this other person be free from suffering.
once again. After practicing compassion, it can be useful to return to some loving-kindness practice. Re-establishing the warmth of goodwill, loving acceptance, unconditional love, and holding this in the heart and chest area before continuing on. Using our mental recitation, breathing in, may I be well, breathing out, may I be happy. Allowing the warmth of loving acceptance, of pure goodwill, of unconditional love to fill your heart. Wishing on the in-breath, may I be well. And on the out-breath, may I be happy. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy. In a few more minutes, we will end the meditation session. It is important to close properly. This goodwill for oneself is the necessary foundation for cultivating true and deep compassion for oneself and eventually all beings. Healthy self-care and self-interest is not the same as selfishness or self-cherishing. It is the foundation that supports and inspires the sincere efforts and practices that will liberate from duality and lead to the realization of not-self. For if we truly care, we will work in order to better our situation. And so once again we re-establish this wholesome good heart as a support to our life and practice. Wishing on the in-breath may I be well and on the out-breath may I be happy. Allowing the warmth of metta, pure goodwill, unconditional love to fill your heart. Breathing in, may I be well. Breathing out, may I be happy. Before finishing the meditation, we will return to the mindfulness of breathing practice. Brahma Vihara based practices such as metta and compassion can sensitize the mind considerably. 
and so it can be helpful to sharpen the mindfulness now. Knowing the feelings in the body in more detail, more clearly, can have a pleasant grounding effect upon the mind. And so bringing our attention to know the feelings involved in in and out breathing. Try to know the entire in-breath and the entire out-breath. Be aware of the feelings of the in-breath coming in at the nose, down through the chest and into the abdomen. And the feelings of the out-breath, out the abdomen, chest and nose. putting down perceptions of self and other and simply knowing feelings associated with the in and out breathing. You can use Buddha if you find this helpful. Breathing in put, breathing out do, aware of the feelings. Doing this for a minute or so before we make some final dedications. Practicing meditation in these ways produces wholesome karma or merit. It is very good to dedicate merits and to make aspirations, particularly after a long session of meditation when the mind has more clarity and power. Since this has been primarily a compassion-based practice, let's dedicate the merits to all beings everywhere. I dedicate the merits of this practice to all beings everywhere. May we all grow to be completely free from every type of suffering. It is good to work on the first level of this practice for some time. Truly learning how to hold compassion in your own heart and deeply. Then sincerely including a couple of others After this, working through level two, regularly and repeatedly, holding greater numbers of beings in this cool, altruistic heart. Finally, we work diligently on the third level, which is advanced, 
as learning to include all beings, especially all of the difficult ones, will be very transformative and beneficial to your spiritual cultivation. We learn to see all beings as equal in the experience of suffering and equal in their potential to be free from it. Eventually, we will come to see that all beings have the same, ultimately empty, non-being nature. And even after this, we will be even more kind. Wishing you every success in your cultivation. Be well.